Aphrodisiacs. <laughs> oh, we're in for a special treat today. By the way, by the way, should we keep Phrasiacs as our, you know, Teresa Giudice has the tree huggers. Taylor Swift has the Swifties. And years ago, Sammy K had labeled everyone Phrasiacs. But I don't think people really want to be called a Phrasiac because it's almost like Howard Stern's whack pack. It's not really an honor. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you're a Swifty, well, is it an honor? Maybe it is. And maybe the joke is, I mean, I am wacky. So, uh, you know, and I'm a maniac, literally and figure figuratively. I am a mainer and I'm a bit of a maniac. So I don't know. Maybe it's fitting. Should we keep phrasiac? I was trying to explain to someone the other day. People were like, they, I met some new people. They started listening to the podcast and they were like, what's a phrasiac? I'm like, well, they're like, okay, I get, yeah, sure. Anyhow. Just just wondering um, if we should change it. You know, you can always hit me up with a DM at the Sarah Frazier Show on Instagram. Ah, all right. How are you guys? I hope for those of you who are mamas that you had a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, it, it was an interesting Mother's Day for me because, well, actually, it was a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, I had a great time. Schman took us out to brunch here in Los Angeles. I love brunch. And I love brunch in LA because if you go somewhere in Beverly Hills, you know, I've had the paparazzi member on who tells you Craig's and Avra and um, the Beverly Hills Hotel and all these places um, really have tons of celebrities at them all the time. And I actually had a celebrity sighting that I'm going to tell you about. So anyhow, I absolutely love everything. Um, that that happened at Mother's Day. But it, it was interesting because a friend of mine hit me up and she said, well, what did Schman get you as a gift for Mother's Day? And I was like, well, nothing. Just, he took me to brunch. And she goes, oh, that's it? I don't know why. I was like, are you guys over? In your relationship, do you still give each other gifts? I'm getting sort of over it. I don't know. But then somebody said to me, he didn't even send you flowers? I was like, no. Should he have sent me? Maybe I have low standards. <laughs> should he have gotten me a gift? taking me to brunch. And you know, you know, I'm a pricey bitch. You know, I go high end, right? So I, I wanted to go to the, the polo lounge, which by the way, if you come to LA, if you're visiting, you should 100% go. It's at the iconic Beverly Hills hotel. So many things have gone down there. Marilyn Monroe used to stay there. I mean, it's so iconic and celebrities still go there. And right after we left, we did not see them, but Jen, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck went there and, you know, hopefully their relationship stays on and they continue to have more Mother's Day, but it's not looking promising. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen all the videos of them fighting here in LA, but it looks contentious. Okay. The man looks miserable. But anyway, so we, but people were saying, you know, he, what, what other gifts I'm at the point I don't, I told him, I don't want any other gifts because the only gifts that I, that I want are, you know, I'm a pricey bitch. Like I want expensive things. And now I only want Chanel handbags or an Hermes and I'm not getting an Hermes because let's be honest, they're like $25,000 and you, you go in and you have to be like, like they have to pick you and decide if they're going to call you and like let you buy an Hermes bag, you know, whatever. I don't give a shit about any of that, but I do love a Chanel. And the reason I like Chanel is because I heard TikToker Scott Nathan, if you don't follow him, he's the horror whisperer. <laughs> you know, I love sugar babies. Well, he is a consultant to sugar babies and he tells every sugar baby, there's only two handbags that you ever want that ever appreciate in value. It's Hermes and it's Chanel. And on top of that, you never buy a woman's watch. It doesn't matter where it's, it's from. The only watches that increase in value are men high men's watches, high, high end Rolex. So now I'm taking all the sugar tips from him. So I'm like, if I want a gift, it's, it's Chanel. I kind of felt bad. I was like, God, maybe I should ask for more from Schman. But what do you guys, I mean, Schman and I have been married almost four years. I love him. He's so good to me. I just, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of over the gift giving. And, you know, you all know this following my journey. Cause on Tuesdays I talk about my personal life. Uh, I might be buying a baby and I might be buying and I want to buy a house. So I want both, you know, and as you guys know, the cost of fertility treatments and all these things. And then of course, to buy a home in Los Angeles, hunty, you can't get new construction. Like you could in Northern Virginia for 800,000. You can't even get that. 
So I, I just don't want gifts anymore, but she made me think for a second, should I be demanding more of Schman? Do you ever think that about your partner? Like you kind of get into this thing where you're like, I, you know, if I want something, I'll buy it. And I don't really ask a lot of them. And, and to be fair, poor Schman, you know, Schman has tried to give me gifts and surprise me. He, he after KJ was born, he went to Costco and bought me a watch. <laughs> I know I'm such a bitch. You can just write to me right now. I'm such a bitch, but I was like, honey, no, like, no, I, I march right back there and return this. Okay. They might've given you 30 days, but I'm not giving you 30 hours, sweetie. Okay. Give that back. <laughs> Nothing against a woman's Costco watch, but now, you know, now I watch Scott Nathan's TikTok. They aren't worth anything. All right. We got to make wise investments here. So poor Schman, he's been beat up a little bit. But anyhow, I hope you had a nice Mother's Day. You know, I think I might talk about this with Natasha Alisa this week. But I see more and more around Mother's Day, lots of videos. I think it's because I'm on TikTok a lot more. And once you watch one, then the algorithm shows you 10. But there was a lot of people like, mother. I hate Mother's Day because, not because, look, it's so hard. If you've lost a mother, it, it, Mother's Day is so hard. I can understand not going on it. I, I, you know, thinking about my dad for Father's Day. Now, because my father's been gone for 25 years, 26 years, you know, I like, I enjoy seeing pictures of people with their dads or reposting my dad. And, you know, maybe you just emotionally get a little emotional thinking about him, but I don't mind, um, I don't mind going on social media, but I know everybody's at a different place. And I can understand if you're trying to become a mama, I, I have some girlfriends who are trying to become mamas. Um, that is very difficult. And then the other thing that's so difficult is, um, if you've lost a mom, so I understand that, but there was this real movement on TikTok about how women aren't appreciated, uh, even in a relationship where a man helps out around the house, uh, you know, as a father, women still, and we have to work and still take care of our children. And I'm like, I don't know, do, do some people feel like there's just a group of moms out there that want a fucking badge every day that they're a mom? I mean, I'm sorry, like, I, you know, this is a tough, being a mom is a tough job. I found it especially hard postpartum. You have so many emotions and hormones and, you know, you're trying to keep your baby alive. But I just found this like whole group of moms on TikTok about whining about, I'm like, I, I just, to me, I see things so differently in life whining about how, you know, there's no, um, you know, people should value you more in society. I'm like, I don't know. I, I have to say my experience has been completely different. My experience is I've never experienced mom shame, even from mommies who were like anti-C-section, anti-epidural, anti-don't do. I mean, I had people, I had women send me their birth plans of all the shit that they wouldn't allow. They didn't want their kid to have a vitamin K shot, which by the way, is what your child gets like, I think the day they're born. Basically it's to help clot stop bleeding. If there were something to happen, if they were to have a little hemorrhage or something, um, because they've just come out of your vagina or they've had anything, it it's, you know, can be life-saving. The jelly on their eyes is also, again, the chances of something infecting your child's eye, like a virus, right? They pick up a virus from a nurse or whatever is so tiny. But if it happens because they're so little and they don't have an immune system, that jelly that they put on is almost this protectant for a day of like antibacterial. So nothing can go in their eyes, right? People were like, don't use that. Don't use that. So anyway, all I'm saying is these moms who were uber, like had uber judgments about that. No one ever gave me shit about having, everyone was like, do what's right for you. You shouldn't, the only birthing plan you should have is the one that's safest for you and your kid. Like these were people that were hardcore breastfeeding. Now I'm look, they're probably talking shit behind my back, but nobody ever said any of this stuff to my face. Like, you know what? You should really be breastfeeding KJ for more than three months. The nurses at Virginia Hospital Center, shout out in the DMV. You should definitely have your baby there. They were like top notch. They brought me homemade chocolate chip cookies every day. Uh, virgin smoothies. I, I was obsessed with that place. I mean, you're paying for it through your insurance, but regardless, I loved the service. They were like, from night one, they were like, do you even want to bother to bring, like, you don't have to do it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, don't you, shouldn't you guys? I thought there was all this benefit. They were like, don't, here's extra formula for the night. If you don't want to, if you feel not feeling like doing it. To <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, I have not been mom shamed. I, I experienced one thing of mom shame when I had my miscarriage the first time. And some woman who was just a prick slid into my DMs and she goes, well, you know, you want to know why that happened, right? You you drink all the time. That's why it happened. And I was like, all right, bitch. And I never responded to her because I don't 
give that kind of fucking energy. I just, I don't know. Look, this is like, it just irritated me this weekend because I'm like, hello, we get one day to universally celebrate. And most people are very happy unless they're going through, of course, something very traumatic. And I know there's people that had horrible moms. I get that. Horrible dads. But, you know, it does seem like it is the one day for us to celebrate. And I just think society is getting better. Sorry, I do.